The I-94 Web Application The I-94 Web Application has been designed to provide travelers with the I-94 number that is assigned by Customs and Border Protection, or CBP, upon entrance to the United States. The I-94 number may be used for verification with other government agencies. If you select Submit without indicating that you have read and understand the information provided, and agree to the terms listed, or that you decline the consent, then a message appears. The I-94 information screen displays the data fields required, the option to retrieve the most recent I-94, or travel history, and the Privacy Act statement. Information must be entered as it appears in the travel document used to enter the United States. The web application has a list of frequently asked questions. Enter last or surname, first or given name, and birth date. Enter the four digit birth year, select the birth month from the list, and enter the birth day, for example, 1955 April 02. Enter passport number and passport country of issuance. After completing the data fields required, you have the option to retrieve and print your most recent I 94 admission record. Or travel history. For security reasons, we recommend closing the browser window after retrieving I-94 information. Help is integrated into the interface using drop-down boxes and rollover text. If the information submitted matches a valid entry in the I-94 database, the I-94 number, most recent date of entry, class of admission, and admit until date are returned. You may print this page by selecting Print. If a record is not found, you may revise your information in the Query screen and resubmit your request. Arrival and departure information for the previous five years displays under Travel History and is available to print. If you have an Outstanding Freedom of Information Act or FOIA request to obtain your travel history and the query result satisfies the request, enter the FOIA number, then select Request FOIA Cancellation. If you submit a cancellation request using an invalid FOIA number format, an error message displays. When a correctly formatted FOIA number is entered, a confirmation is displayed. This page may be printed for your records. This concludes the I-94 web application demonstration. Thank you.